Some people claim that hyperbaric oxygen improves eyesight. At the same time, maybe you've heard that hyperbaric actually makes eyesight worse. Which one is it? That's what we're gonna cover in today's video. If you're operating a hyperbaric clinic, or you're about to go into a hyperbaric clinic and do some treatments, you should really be aware of what some of the potential adverse reactions are with hyperbaric. In our office, in our clinics, we have our consent form and we go over the different possibilities. Generally speaking, hyperbaric is inherently a safe therapy. Very few things can go wrong. There are very few contraindications. It is quite easy and quite a simple process to keep patients safe, comfortable, happy, and to make sure that you're treatments that you're offering are effective for whatever the reason that somebody's coming to the clinic. That being said, like any other medical procedure, there are potential consequences or adverse reactions. One of the things that should be on your consent forms if you're running a clinic or should be on the consent form that you receive as a patient is hyperbaric may increase myopia. In other words, if you're already nearsighted, hyperbaric could make you more nearsighted temporarily. Temporarily is the most important word. If hyperbaric tends to make a person with myopia a little bit more myopic, it is a very temporary process. It typically happens more at higher pressures than at lower pressures. And within a few weeks after the treatments stop, your vision will return to what it was before the treatments began. This is important to know for a few reasons. One, patients could be concerned if their vision is changing and you want them to know that this is just temporary. Two, patients may not associate their vision changes with the hyperbaric treatment. They just notice that their vision is changing. So do they tell the hyperbaric doctor about that or do they tell their eye doctor about that? They go to their eye doctor, they say, doc, my, my glasses aren't working, my contacts don't seem to be the right prescription anymore. And now they might get their prescription changed because their vision is changing, only to find out that a few weeks after their hyperbaric treatments cease, that their vision is gonna go back to the way it was. So you don't want your patients going to the eye doctor unnecessarily or changing their prescription at a time that's really inappropriate to do so. So having a patient aware that this is all possible and ultimately it's temporary, you don't need to do anything about it because your vision will go back to the way it was once the treatments are finished. Now, I also wanna be clear, it's typically not dramatic changes that continually get worse over time. So if you're in the middle of a protocol that's 40 hours, 60 hours, or 80 hours, it's not like your vision is gonna continually get worse over that period of time. That would be very, very rare. It typically shifts a little bit and kind of stays that way while you're getting treatment, and then will typically return back to pre-hyperbaric status a few weeks after those treatments stop. On the flip side of this equation, what if you're not nearsighted? What if you're farsighted, meaning, you can see things pretty well far away, but you don't see things close to you as clearly. If you're farsighted, you will tend to become a little bit more myopic, meaning you actually might see vision improvements throughout the course of your treatment. All of these pressure changes, whether it's taking a person with myopia, making them a little bit more myopic or nearsighted, becoming a little bit more nearsighted, or if it's taking someone farsighted and actually improving their near vision, all of these changes are temporary and they all have to do with the effect of the pressure changes of hyperbaric on our lens. But once you stop going into those pressure changing environments for a few weeks, our eyes will typically revert back to wherever they were before these changes occurred. So does hyperbaric oxygen make your vision better or worse? Well, it depends where you were when you started your treatments. Generally speaking, at mild to moderate amounts of pressure, there's very little, if any, changes in vision whatsoever. At higher pressures are really where these vision changes begin. But again, if it's making your vision worse, please do not be alarmed, is a temporary phenomenon. If it's making your vision better, well, that's great. But again, I'm sorry, it will be a temporary phenomenon. Once you stop your treatments, your vision will respond by going back to pre-hyperbaric status. Lastly, with cataracts. Cataracts are basically a cloudy area that develops over the lens of our eyes. Now, hyperbaric has never been shown to cause cataracts, but it has been shown, again, especially at higher pressures, to increase the rate of cataract maturation. Now, that is something that you have to consider because that's not necessarily gonna be reversible. So if you have cataracts and you're going in for treatment, especially if you're getting high pressure treatments, you may accelerate that cataract. Now, of course, there's surgery that could be done to remove those cataracts at some point. So there's a treatment for that. And now you have to weigh whether or not this therapy is worth the risk of potentially increasing the maturation rate of your cataracts. For more details about hyperbaric and cataracts, we did a completely separate video covering that topic alone. And you can click this link over here and you can take a look at the video on hyperbaric and cataracts specifically for you. I hope this helps answer the debate of whether hyperbaric oxygen improves vision or makes it worse. And like always, I appreciate your time and attention and we'll see you next time.